It didn't take Doug Flutie long to get cranked up, did it? One night, huh? One game into his junior year, and he's now the BC all-time leading wow. passer. That's the kind of player he is. I like what I saw out there tonight. I saw a BC offense with more balance than it had a year ago, and if you like watching Doug Flutie, you'll enjoy it even more with a running game to work with, too. BC bops the Bears of Morgan State tonight, 45-12. It is a season of high hope for Jack McNeil's team. But there are always question marks in any season opener. But a charged up team and a charged up crowd tonight. The visitors a little overwhelmed in their first game ever against a Division I team. Fumble on their second play. Steve Diossi hopped on the first of two fumble recoveries. And they're off. Troy Stratford, the sophomore tailback, shows you how to run wide and how to put your head down. He gets into the end zone with a power. 7-0 Eagles. Then the Bears bear down after... Six. Near the end of the first period. Now, this is classic Doug Flutie. He tiptoes, darts, dances, makes it happen to Scott Geiselman for a first down. But as the second period begins, he makes it pay off with a dart to Brian Brennan, a flanker, with a first of two scores, 14 6. Now, watch the very next possession. And next time they touch the ball, Flutie goes right back up on top. And again, it's Brennan wide open behind the Bears, in from 39. It was 21-6, and it was over for all intents and purposes. Brennan, the senior flanker, caught five in the first half. And how about this hard throw? And how about the move by Brennan here to shake free for an extra seven yards? That's big league football there. Again, it set up a score. The running game left side. Steve Strahan rumbles in. 28-6 at the half. They get it big, 45-6 before the Bears get a late score and Morgan State with their best moves at the half, I guess they go peacefully. BC wins their opener and look tough.